All right, let's do some physics. This is a problem dealing with energy loss or work done by an external force. We have a 75 kilogram skateboarder rolling across a flat road at 12 meters per second. After they have traveled 25 meters, their velocity has been reduced to 10 meters per second. This is a normal occurrence if you're a skateboarder. You know that you know while you try your best to always move at a constant velocity, unfortunately there are friction and other forces at play that slowly bring you to a stop. So in this problem, we want to figure out how much work is done by these forces, aka how much energy are they actually taking away from you, and then we'll finally calculate the amount of force that caused this slowing down to occur. First thing we got to do is find the initial E total of the skateboarder and figure out what type or types of energy we are working with. In this scenario, um, rolling across a flat road, flat road means there is no change in height. This means we do not care about potential energy in any way. The skateboarder is, however, rolling with a non-zero velocity, so therefore we definitely care about kinetic energy. So the initial total energy, and I'm going to call that E total 1, is all kinetic, which is 1 half mv squared, as you know, and plugging in numbers, we get 5,400 joules of energy. And now we will find the total energy later. So in this scenario, the skateboard's velocity has been reduced. I'm still only working in the realm of kinetic. So their final uh, total energy, once again, is only in the form of kinetic. So once again, we do a 1 half mv squared calculation. And we will get in this scenario, and meters. This gives us 3,750 joules of energy. So slowing down means my kinetic energy is going down. Um, it should make sense that the skateboarder has lost energy. Um, losing energy would be a negative amount of work done. So in question C, where we're looking to find the amount of work, we're looking for a negative number. There's two ways to find work. The first way to find work is to use uh, W is equal to FD cos theta. And the other way to find work is to use uh, work is equal to change in energy. In this scenario, we're going to use work is equal to change in energy because we have two energy values. So work is equal to change in energy, which is always final energy minus initial energy. We have those values. And we get that work that the work done by friction was equal to negative 1,650 joules. Negative sign is critical. Energy was lost in this scenario by the skateboarder, so we need to have a negative work done. Last thing we want to do in part D, calculate the amount of force. To find the amount of force, um, we are going to solve W equals Fd cos theta. Uh, rearranging that for force, we get force is equal to W all over D cos theta, and we can plug in our numbers and solve. The work was negative 1,650 joules. The displacement in this scenario is 25 meters. Cosine. So in this scenario, the frictional force is going in the opposite direction that the skater is moving. So my theta value here is going to be 180 degrees, and cosine of 180 becomes negative 1. So I have a negative over a negative, which is going to give me a positive answer. And we get that the amount of force to make that happen is equal to 66 newtons.